do you want to become a pilot but don't know what the requirements are, what the flight school expects from you? Well, you're watching the right video. Come on, let's get it. So flight training is a course of study used when learning to pilot an aircraft. But what are the requirements? Well, I'm going to tell you about the Bluetooth flight school training requirements. Other schools may have their own different requirements, but these are the Bluetooth flight school training requirements. So first things first, you must be 17 years or older to obtain a private pilot license. What does this mean? Well, you can start your training, but even if you are qualified to be a private pilot at like 16, until you turn 17, will you get your license? So that's one of the requirements. They're not saying you should be 17 when you start flying. No, you can be any age to start flying, as long as you're not 65, because that's the retirement age. So you can be any age, but not less than 17 to get your private license. Next thing, you have to be able to read, write, and practice, speak English. <laughs> you need to be able to read, write, and speak English. English is a widely spoken language in aviation it's used to communicate and it's like the most common language we use in aviation so yeah what you read write and speak english you're gonna life is gonna be much easier here okay you must be declared medically fit by an aviation medical examiner the school is going to direct you they'll show you where you can do your medical from there's a doctor here at the airport who does medical for students and the school is going to help you so don't think you the school is going to help you they'll take you through everything so the fourth one is math and science will help you Math and science will help you, but they're not essential. Like I did math and science in high school. Here's a video I did, subjects I did in high school. Maybe that can give you an insight. I did science, I did math in high school, but it was just essential. It helped me out. I saw the physics I was learning in high school, some mathematics and all that stuff, but it's not essential. The school didn't ask me, oh, can you see results first? You don't need your matric results. Please, each time I tell people this, you don't need your matric results. They still come back to me and ask me, oh, what if I did maths late? What if I did this? I just said, you don't need your matric results. But that's just for the training part. When you start applying for jobs, you're going to need that certificate. So don't get comfortable and say, no, I don't need a matric to be a pilot. You do need it, but just not for the training part. Okay? Hope we get that clear. Please, I don't for asking me if they need matric after this video. I'm not going to respond to you. Okay. So you must be a South African citizen or a holder of a study permit. So if you're not South African, just go to the, to the South African Embassy Home Affairs. They're going to issue a study visa that's going to allow you to train in South Africa. The school is in South Africa. I think the school is in South Africa. I myself am a foreign student. I got my visa from the embassy and now I'm here training to be a pilot. Hey, you must be a holder of a valid student pilot license. What's a student pilot license? This is a license that's going to help you fly as a student. You need a license to fly almost all the time. While you're training, you have an SPO, student pilot license. As you go, you get your private pilot license, commercial and airline transport. So your student pilot license, don't worry about it. It's not a course on its own, no. You apply for it, your instructor is going to help you when you come when you come to the school, you will be helped by the instructor. You apply for the course and you will be helped accordingly. You will get your license in like a week or so, your student pilot license, a week, a month maximum. So don't worry about it. So those are the blue chip flight school requirements. summary of the requirements i'm going to put them in the description box so that you can print them out so don't forget to check them out at this website i will also pass it in the link you can easily contact them on the website i'll put their phone number and the website in the description box you can contact them get your enrollment form and you can start with your training and also they don't have enrollment dates you can enroll throughout the year you can start training throughout the year anytime any Obviously at the airport. I was about to say anytime anywhere, but you can start your training at any time of the year. So thank you so much for watching my video. Check out Bluetooth Flight School and enjoy.